Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at how we can prepare our Android application for release, for publishing, and we also look at how we can generate an APK file from our Android, app, Android project. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. So after you've actually spent time to develop your Android application, build it several times and tested it, it is however necessary to prepare the package for distribution. There are certain steps that needs to be taken, which actually mainly entails setting some application attributes. These are, for example, specifying the application icon. So each and Xamarin Android application should have an application icon specified, although not technically necessary. Some markets such as Google Play require it, like the version of the application. So this actually involves init initializing or updating the version information. This is important for future application updates and to ensure that the users are aware of which version of the application they have installed. So we we'll look at most of the, these steps later on, but as you can see, I've got Visual Studio opened. So we will start by op creating a new project. So we we'll click on the create a new project. So in this case, we're just going to create Xamarin Android app. So Android app Xamarin. Yeah. So we we'll click on the next. So here we can just, we're just going to leave the application configuration stuff, but I'm just going to put just the name YT app, YT for YouTube app. So that's the only thing I'm going to put there. So once that bit is sorted out here, we can select whatever application that we want to use. I'm just going to select the tapped application. So we're just going to leave the minimum Android target as 5.0. So click OK. And then I've already got, um, uh, as you can see, it's running a bit slow. So I've already got my emulator open here. So you can do that if you want to. So now we've got the project starting up. So it might take a while. So what I'm going to do is just right click it and build it or rebuild it for the first time. Yeah. So now we've got the build succeeded, right? So what I'm going to do now is just going to, just going to run it for the first time. So I'm so just going to open the app on the, on the emulator. So it might take a while. So I'm just going to pause it again. <clears throat> so now as you can see, and yeah, now we've got the app running. So there's nothing really. Sh so what I'm going to do now is just going to stop it from running. So the next bit is just, you're just going to jump on straight to the car. We're just going to click on the properties. So now we've got the properties opened. So I'm just going to go to the next bit here, which is the Android, Android manifest here. So here we can either, so this place here, the application name is being set dynamically, but we can set it here. So the package name, and the icon of the application which i've actually spoken about briefly and then the the version which I, i've just spoken about as well so once we scroll down we've got the minimum android version and then we've got the target android version so this application can work on the mid android with a minimum version of 5.0 or api level 21 and this is the main target API level 28, that's the one we're actually targeting. So here, you can actually set the permissions for the application, like access to location, access to like, the, the, the device information or the user information and whatnot, the Bluetooth and whatnot. So this is where you can, you can check the boxes f for actually requiring that, that permission or getting that permission. So we can also go to the Android options, right? 
So here, you can also set some more Fairvac configurations as well. So if you scroll down, there are more stuff that we can actually, you can actually set, but we're not going to look too much into that. But obviously you can look at the Microsoft document or the Xamarin documentation for more information. And then here you can also set the, uh, the package settings, like the key store and whatnot. We can also have a look on the next, next on the next stage of the of the video. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave this bit here for now. So these are the certain things that obviously you can you, the, the steps that you can take in terms of preparing your Android application for deployments, right? But once you've actually go through all these configurations then you can you can actually come in you can come you can right click the the project right right click the project and then click on the archive so once you click on the archive here so we've got this bit here the archiving process has failed please see the error for more details so it's actually failed for some reason so what i'm gonna do is just gonna remove this bit here for now and i'm just going to close this bit as well then i'm going to build the application so we've got the build succeeded so i'm just going to put this bit here at release yeah so we're just going to leave the debug part as release so your your tax will be continued running in the background so we're just going to leave that bit here so right click the project again and click on the analyze i mean archive so we should we should have it working now so as you can see here now it's actually building now so basically if you had made all the settings all the changes will actually be taking effect so as you can see here now we've actually got the whole thing successfully built yeah so if we look here inside we've got open folder so and here we've got the bundle format as apk so we've got this the size of the application as well we're not going to look too much into that right so if we want to grab our apk for this application we're just going to come this part here open this bit so this is the apk so i'm just gonna see i'm just gonna grab it and drop it here if it's gonna work yeah so so as you can see so the apk failed to install error could not pass the string so this is just some normal issue but obviously you see what i was trying to do so you could actually once you've got your apk sorted out yeah you can just drag drag and drop it just like that and it should it should work fine or if you want to publish it to a google play store then you're gonna have to click on the distribute here so from here you can go straight you can publish it straight to a google google play store or you can use an ad hoc publishing yeah so as you can see here, it's not really very difficult and now we know, we know how we can grab our apk file so i'm gonna leave the video here for now as i don't really have, i don't have the license to actually publish it to a google play store but if we do then you can you can go about it fairly easily by adding um creating the android key store and just following the the instructions yeah so once again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up. Yeah. And have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Blessed. Stay in peace. Bye bye.